how to make a twin turbo mounting jig on a hang line. Stay tuned. Hey guys welcome back i'm glad you had a chance to stop back by i know it's been a bit since i had my last upload uh here on the twin turbo uh, build series but today i wanted to really go over something important especially if you're doing these jobs by yourself because these turbos as you know it they get pretty heavy so if you can find something stationary to keep them sitting in the position you want them to without them tipping over or falling or, or whatnot it's going to allow you to get your uh perfect exact measurements and also while you're there, go ahead and just spot weld them, disassemble your turbo from your, your jig that you just built, and then take everything off and you're ready to weld. So if you wanna check out how I get this done by myself, not one, but twin turbo, stick around, look no further, cause it's going down today. All right, so real quick in a nutshell, this is just your standard uh, steel angle iron. Uh, I'm not sure the thickness, probably an eighth, but it is pretty thick. So what you want to do is get your measuring tape. And again, this is just for top mounted apparatus uh, builds. You know, I know some of you guys put them lower or other places in your engine bay. But if you're doing something on top and you have room, especially in these uh, F-Series um, Ford trucks and even the, the square bodies, C10s and all that good stuff, then check out this method because I think you're going to like it. So go ahead and make your measurement, go ahead and cut the angle iron, uh, which mine was 64 inches. And the reason you want that uh, up to here on the, the wheel well is so when you actually go to shut your hood, there's clearance. If you see, here's my hood, it'll go down to about right here. So there's clearance there. So this, what this is gonna allow you to do also is to get your turbo mounted. That way you have hood clearance as well. So when you shut the hood, you can, you can see and make, make adjustments. And um, all I did here is I, I cut a notch out on each side and I went ahead and placed my turbo where I want mine. I'm putting mine on each side of uh, the wheel wells here in the battery compartment and over here in this empty space. I've already made a couple marks and this I'll show you in a second is where the bolts hit. I went ahead and cut that out so it'll sit flat. And I'll show you as well what these markings are for but uh, since the turbo drain will be down, I wanna have it sitting here on the turbo drain and uh, so we can get this marked up and mounted. All right, so here we go. I went ahead and set the, uh, the turbo here on top of my, my mounting jig here. And that's pretty much how I want it aligned. So from afar, that's what it's looking at here. So what this is gonna enable me to do, and you see those lines down here next to the turbo drain, let's focus in there. I went ahead and made uh, that mark there and also there. So when I go ahead and remove this turbo, I can get the exact markings of the actual drain so I can drill the two holes and use the, the drain uh, mounting screws here that come with uh, the drain part to go ahead and stabilize this turbo so it doesn't move. All right, so there's my marking that goes, I drew around the oil drain there. And this is actually what you would attach to the bottom of the turbo uh, for the drain. But I'm using this just as a template. So then what I'm going to do is just take a, a marker, paint pen, chalk, whatever you want to use, and uh, center it. This hole that you're drilling here, doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure it aligns with this hole here. And as you see, the holes are already oblonged. So what I'm going to do is just take my marker here, dot right in the center. Let's check it out. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same with this guy. Just like that. All right, so I got the 10 in uh, drain fitting here, uh, tightened down on the angle iron, and it's kind of tipped upside down just to let you know that the dexterity here, uh, it's pretty pretty stout. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it back over. I'll show you what we got here. 
All right, so just like that. So it's resting here. It's resting here on the, the side trim, the wheel well. And essentially, uh, once I get everything uh, leveled out with the level, that's what it's designed to do. So you can go in here and tack weld um, all these spots to where you got your exhaust and everything cut. So what this alleviates is all the amount of stress, um, you know, from the weight of these things to get a good uh, cut on a weld. So um, I'll be going ahead and doing the header route. And then later you'll see what this apparatus is set up. It's going to enable me to route the exhaust on how I want, along with the wastegate and everything else. Which now I'm going to move over here uh, to the passenger side and get this one done too. All right, so we are all done with the passenger side here. And so as you can see, building your turbo support uh, jig or bracket, however you want to name it, this is extremely important when it comes to your build, especially if you're doing topside turbos um, and don't want to take off a hood. And if you don't have a uh, like an engine hoist or something like that or somewhere that you can hang things for a considerable amount of time, this is stationary and it's not going to move. And so this will give you all the maneuverability uh, along with the dexterity of the strength because it's angle iron to hold your turbo to get all your markings so you can get your tack welds in <clears throat> remove everything go over to the bench get your welds done so if you're not by yourself then you know go ahead and skip this video it's not for you um, but even if you are and you have an, another individual and this is something that you feel is going to be necessary and help help your build uh, then do it because uh, uh, it doesn't get easier than this especially if you want to do it by yourself um, but yeah that's kind of it in a nutshell if you guys are going to be doing um, maybe just one bigger turbo on the bottom for example or on the top and you got your headers uh, routing over into one pipe on the bottom so your turbo is down here you could do the exact same thing where you just drill a hole put a piece of um, all thread through the hole with a couple nuts and washers on each side of your angle iron and put it in the top side of your oil pressure fitting here in your turbo and let it hang. Let it hang down here. That way you can get all your measurements. This method is really for both top and bottom. Uh, it just determines on how much room you have in your engine bay for this type of jig to work. Um, I'm excited. You know, this is one major step I got out of the way so I can continue my build series here. And uh, I wanted to pass along some information that's helped me to help you guys out with your turbo builds as well. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it right here. And the nice thing about it is once you, you do get your, your exhaust pipes welded in, uh, due to it being a, a V band clamp, right here on your on your 90 when that gets welded here on this it's going to allow you to um, turn your turbo either from sitting inside your wells here where the battery is and the empty space is over there and bring it up ideally when i'm looking at my turbo from an outside point i want it sticking up almost level with where the uh the carburetor hat is going to be sitting on top of that carb because I want that factor of when you're looking in the engine bay at a car show, you're gonna be like, oh man, this thing is, it's not just turbocharged, but it's twin turbocharged because you see the turbo sticking out. Anyways, guys, um, I know uh, this has been a, a long video, but I know it's going to be a helpful video to many of you all out there. Um, again, uh, your comments, your you guys subscribing and hitting this bell notification is really helping my channel. It's definitely um, taken off where I want it to be. I got over a thousand subscribers now. 
which is amazing. So thank you guys for all of your support. Uh, continue to make those comments, share my material, and uh, most importantly, hit the bell notification so you get all of my feedback and my uh, alerts on upcoming footages that I'll be uploading. All right, guys. Well, until next time, God bless.